so I finally received the WL Toys XKA300 biplane after about two weeks of waiting. So this is a brushless um, biplane, four channel, um, 2S1P battery, so 7.4 uh, volts nominal. Um, I have to say though, know, I'm very disappointed at um, the build quality of this product. Um, given the uh, re great reviews that uh, people have given it and also um, from what I read X XK is um, a premium uh, sort of branch of uh, WL Toys so I'm going to run through the problem so first of all the controller I thought there would be an LCD display um, but that's that's the least of my worry so the, the biggest issues are um, and I've already try to fix all this as best as I, I can so if you look at the rudder it's kind of asymmetric so if I sort of um, you know move the control stick to the right you can see the uh, amount of travel is very different and I've already tried to center this so um, it goes a lot more in that direction than it does in this direction um, uh, like I said, when I first got it, it was more like 50%, like one third or and two thirds the other side. But right now, it still goes a lot more um, uh, to the to the right than it does um, to the left. Um, so yeah, when I yaw to the right, you can see the gap there is a lot smaller than uh, here. Um, the other issue I had was the um, elevator got um, stuck. Um, so if you can see the um that little bit there there's very little clearance between the end of the elevator and that um foam bit of the the tail so if you can Im imagine um previously i couldn't uh sort of um you know if i pull the elevator down uh to climb um so if i try to pitch up then the elevator wouldn't uh, travel up as high as it does now because it um, had sharp edges and that uh, sharp edge would just cut into the foam and it gets in, it, it will get stuck halfway so I had to dismantle the whole thing and uh, file it down and now it seems to um, travel um, at least to its full <coughs> uh, I should say it's able to do full travel now I'm just going to turn the annoying lights off. Um, but my biggest worry is if we have a look now at the front, you can see that the um, motor mount is just um, uh, symmetric as well. So it's kind of off center. So the props like uh, pointed to the right. Um, and obviously, I can't do anything about this. Um, so I've tried and um, I can't really um, sort of pivot the, the motor. Um, <clears throat> I haven't flown the plane yet but just looking at the uh, propeller uh, going off to one side so that that's really shocking for, for an aircraft of uh, this uh, uh, this quality really. I expected more. Um, it's a lot more expensive than the uh, cheaper um, uh, you know three channel planes and even some four channel ones are like two thirds the price. Um, the details are uh, the details are very nice. Uh, I'll give it that, um, and that's what most people say anyway. Um, although you can see the red pins come off in various uh, places, um, but yeah, that doesn't bother me at all. So I think the biggest worry I've got now is the uh, the propellers um, off to one side. But uh, we'll see how it goes. It's too windy to fly today, so I'll um, we'll have to wait till another day. Thanks for watching.